this mass let us pray for the following intentions i will sing forever of your mercies o lord through all ages my mouth will proclaim your fidelity in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my dear brothers and sisters no matter whatever sin we commit god forgives us because he loves us and he has mercy upon each one of us so realizing how merciful god is towards us each day let us pause for a while recollect our sins and ask pardon from the almighty god I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray O God whose mercies are without number and whose treasure of goodness is infinite graciously increase the faith of the people consecrated to you that all may grasp and rightly understand by whose love they have been created through whose blood they have been redeemed by whose spirit they have been reborn grant this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever first reading a reading from the book of genesis chapter 46 verses 1 to 7 and 28 to 30 on page 43 from the old testament I repeat chapter 46 verses 1 to 7 and 28 to 30 When Israel set out on his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac God spoke to Israel in visions of the night and said Jacob Jacob and he said here I am then he said I am God the God of your father do not be afraid to go down to Egypt for I will make of you a great nation there I myself will go down with you to Egypt and i will also bring you up again and joseph's own hand shall close your eyes then jacob set out from bersheba and the sons of israel carried their father jacob their little ones and their wives in the wagons that pharaoh had sent to carry him they also took their livestock and the goods that they had acquired in the land of Canaan and they came into Egypt Jacob 
and all his offspring with him his sons and his sons sons with him his daughters and his sons daughters all his offspring he brought with him into egypt verses 28 to 30 israel sent judah ahead to joseph to lead the way before him into goshen when they came to the land of goshen joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet his father israel in goshen he presented himself to him fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while israel said to joseph i can die now having seen to joseph i can die now having seen for myself that you are still alive the word of the lord the responsorial psalm kindly take page psalm 37 on page 595 595 psalm 37 verses 3 to 4 18 and 19 27 and 28 and 39 and 40 our response shall be the salvation of the just, salvation of the just. comes from the lord psalm 37 verses 3 and 4 trust in the lord and do good so you will live in the land and enjoy security Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart verses 18 and 19 The Lord knows the days of the blameless and their heritage will abide forever they are not put to shame in evil times in the days of famine they have abundance verses 27 and 28 Depart from evil and do good so you shall abide forever for the Lord loves justice he will not forsake his faithful ones the righteous shall be kept safe forever but the children of the wicked shall be cut off verses 39 and 40 the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord he is their refuge in the time of trouble The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Sing. Sing. Alleluia alleluia Harden not your hearts today Listen to the voice of the Lord Alleluia reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew gospel according to saint matthew chapter 10 chapter 10 verses 16 to 23 
chapter 10 verses 16 to 23 Jesus instructed the 12 as follows Behold I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves beware of men for they will deliver you up to councils and flog you in their synagogues and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear testimony before them and the gentiles when they deliver you when they deliver you up do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say for you are to say for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour for it is not you who speak but the spirit of the father speaking through you brother will deliver a brother to death and the father is child and the children will rise against parents and have them put to death and you will be hated for my name's sake and he who endures for my name's sake he who endures to the end will be saved when they persecute you in one town flee to the next truly i say to you you will not have gone through all the towns of israel before the son of man comes the gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in the first reading we can call the first reading as a family get together reunion of the family why because israel jacob is coming along with all his family members his livestock and the goods and coming and meeting his son who was lost is meeting joseph his son and joseph he went to his father with tears is crying weeping and he is hugging his father and weeping over his neck his shoulder my dear brothers and sisters that's a great family union and those tears which jesus joseph shed those tears are not the i think they are not the tears of sadness but they might be the tears of joy of meeting his father after many years the point to remember is maybe we can plan out for our own family unions and whenever we come together as a family there won't be tears of sadness there won't be tears of sorrow never never whenever a family comes together for a get together or any celebration there won't be tears of sorrow actually there will be tears of joy and happiness and maybe my dear brothers and sisters we can question ourselves is there somebody in my own family with whom i need to reconcile today is there somebody with whom i fought some days back or some months back or some years back and can i reconcile with that person today so that we all will be happy as a family and something more to share from my own life is the best moment and the happiest moment in my life is when i go and spend time with my own family with my father mother brother and sister in law with my family that is the best and the happiest moment in my life and i'm sure that will be yours too when you come together as a family and spend time together happily and something more that we we'll need to learn from the gospel reading is jesus is speaking about persecutions persecutions from outside and in the family also and those 
persecutions which Jesus spoke when he was alive those persecutions are still going on today also in our own country there are things happening events happening especially churches being destroyed nuns being raped and so to say in some incidents priests are also killed priests are kidnapped and innocent people in countries like example iraq and even in pakistan innocent christians they are tortured because they are bearing the name of jesus christians they are killed they are tortured and they are murdered and their heads are beheaded because they are christians my dear brothers and sisters let us pray for those people we are all safe here we are safe here at venkatapuram yes because of the grace of god let us pray for those christians who are suffering who are suffering and who are being tortured for the name of jesus let us pray for them that they, their faith may not be shaken and that god may inspire many people to help them to come and help them in many ways that they may be safe wherever they stay let us pause for a while and my dear brothers and sisters let us pray for our families if there is any problem with one or other members of your family pray for that person or for them that you all may come together reconcile and live happily as one family and let us also pray for all those christians not only christians let us pray for all the people who are suffering innocent people who are suffering just because they are right they are standing they are living according to the values of the gospel or sometimes just because they are christians they are tortured that god may help them bless them protect them amen brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive our oblations in your mercy o lord and transform them into the sacrament of redemption the memorial of your son's death and resurrection so that by the power of this sacrifice and with constant trust in Christ we may come to eternal life grant this through Christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith and Profess Your Resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thumma Bala, Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Francis George, John Matthew, all the souls in purgatory and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
Oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your parcels? Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. All those who are celebrating your birthdays, wedding anniversaries, please come forward.
The mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. Let us pray. Grant to us, O merciful God, that nourished by the body and blood of your Son, we may draw confidently from the wellsprings of mercy and show ourselves ever more compassionate towards our brothers and sisters. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.